How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's week 11 of 2023, we've got a bunch of new stuff to talk about as per usual, what's been going on in the community at the moment, let's jump straight into it. Make sure if you do enjoy these informational videos to subscribe so you don't miss any content like this. So we're going to start off with the regular Twitter updates. They have identified an issue in Eliminator where you can crash if you challenge a player. If you've been having this issue, they have identified it. And we actually got a hotfix update a few days ago as well in which we have the patch notes for and there are some interesting things in there. They note it as stability and event lab improvements. Now if we go to the release notes we can see that they fixed a general issue. They seem to fix the issue that I had previously mentioned and they have also reduced the cost of some event lab props after budget miscalculation fix. And then they put out a note explaining how in the last update for Horizon 5 they actually miscalculated some of the event lab prop budgets. This meant that some people's event lab creations which were previously in budget were then no longer in budget and sort of caused quite a lot of issues for some people now they have listened to the feedback and they have done what they can to revert it as much as possible and now they've not been able to bring it back down to what it used to be but they have done their best to give us the most budget possible to try and avoid this happening again as you can see the details if you want to read through all of it there. I can imagine that was very annoying for anybody currently working on an event lab creation that was in budget and then suddenly wasn't so yeah. Now there's one more interesting thing that they tweeted about and it was they are that work remains ongoing to clean up the Forza Horizon 5 leaderboards and to date they have removed 3.7 million entries from over 700 rival leaderboards so it's good to see they're still tackling some of the leaderboard times that are obviously hacked and glitched. Now they did go into specifics about what they're doing and also admitted that they have unfortunately removed legitimate times which I'm sure you've seen lots of people complain about. They've admitted that some of them are legit they've admitted that some of them were legitimate and they apologize and they've tried to restore them but they have basically said that we can't restore them all so there are legitimate times out there legitimate leaderboard entries that were deleted that have not been restored. It's a bit of a shame I'd like to see the leaderboards fixed completely, but I really don't know how they're going to do that if unless they wiped them completely. What would you guys take to an entire leaderboard wipe on Horizon 5? All of the leaderboards refreshed and wiped on every PR stunt, every rivals, everything. How would you react to that? If I'm honest with you, it's a solution that would work. Anyway, that's everything on Twitter. We're going to talk about some new leaks lately. Now, I use the word leaks lightly, but as per usual over on GT Planet, where most of the leaks seem to come from, we've had quite a few. We've had this one from TGR55, and they have EE looked through the files since the Japanese automotive update. They added new badges in the files which he couldn't find in the badges section menu and just a bunch of other logos and stuff like that as well. Now he says that these specific ones, he's not really sure why they have the initials TT in front of them. TT could be the initials of an upcoming update potentially. He provided a few screenshots of some of the icons found. Now we, I recognize the nighttime one because next update we're getting nighttime extensions. So I recognize that one, but it's really interesting to see all of these designs which have been done by the Forza Horizon 5 developers, some of which I don't recognize from the game and some of which I do. So if there are any badges, any of the festival playlist coming soon icons on the screen that you don't recognize and that are new, I can't really pinpoint all of them, but some of them do look new to me. They could very well be a hint at a new upcoming feature or just new badges being added to the game at some point. Leaks like this are very cool. I like it when leaks come with graphics and images because no, it just hits different. Now that's not it for leaks and stuff, we have even more over on GT Planet. From Kelpie this time, an interesting set of files that I stumbled across quite recently at materials and car liveries was that livery material bins for a LOL 31 whatever car that is and a Ford Capri Turbo I presume that is as two unused liveries for existing cars. He then provided photos of what these liveries are like in a real life photo equivalent. So as usual with these leaks, don't take them seriously. You know, this could just be stuff left over in the files for even turn 10 to use for the motorsport game. Um, it's not serious, but it's, it's interesting to know what's found within the playground game files or Horizon 5 files, I should say. 
we have another set from Kelpie again. Also, in the string files of Forza Horizon 5, I discovered several unused manufacturers mentioned in list parts and manufacturers. Now, there are already lots of manufacturers listed in the game, listed in the files that we can't drive, so that's normal, but it was quite pretty interesting to get a full list of them. Gordon Murray Automotive is the one that catches my eye, and Ginetta would be cool as well, but there's, to be honest, I've not even heard of most of the other ones. They look just like made-up names to me. But again, all of these just could be just lingering around in the files from previous Horizon games, previous ideas, or even the motorsport game. But leaks are sometimes quite accurate. You know, we have been surprised in the past with what leaks have turned out to be true, what turned out to be quite accurate. So you never know. These manufacturing names and brands can be found within the files. Whether that means anything for the future, there's, there's no way of knowing. Again, it's just quite interesting to see. Now, if you're extra interested in some of these leaks, you can actually go to these forum posts and download the files yourselves where these leaks were found. For example, these two, he provided the manufacturer's list. You might spot things in there that weren't previously spotted by anybody else. So if you're that interested in them, go and have a download and peek through. There is a lot of gibberish in them, as he did mention, though. Another cool point that someone noticed again over on GT Planet was that you can now put a 7.2 litre racing V8 in the 2JZ um, drag car that they added a, a few updates ago. Now, now people did actually check. You couldn't do this when the car was released, I think in January or whenever it was. So at some point, maybe in the last update or the update before, at some point in the last few updates, they have added this V8 as an engine swap option for this 2JZ Toyota. So that's pretty cool. If you liked this car, go and bang a V8 in it. It might be even cooler to drive. Now, in other news, less important to Forza Horizon 5, more about Forza Motorsport. Now, this was last week, and I've not talked about it yet, so I'm quickly mentioning it at the end of the video. Well, Forza Motorsport was revealed last month. It's suspected to have been delayed, we know that, and we know that we were given a huge list of cars that will be in the game. Well, for some reason, they have now removed six of the cars from that promised list to be in the game by launch. Now, this doesn't instantly mean that these cars will not be in the game, it just means that they will not be in the game at launch in the base game. Perhaps as a DLC, perhaps as a monthly update, I don't really know. They all seem to be very race specific spec cars with liveries, so maybe there's licensing issues going on because licenses are a huge factor for what goes into on in the game. But it's just come up as a red flag for quite a lot of people. We're all getting excited for motorsport. It's been delayed, we're looking like. Now they're removing cars from the base game list. It's not looking great. There's only six and there's still over 500 promised cars, so it's not that bad really. And I've just noticed looking at the list that one of the cars has Jackie Chan in it. It's quite funny, I didn't know that. Anyway guys, that is everything we're going to talk about in this video today. Leave a like if you've enjoyed and I'll see you all later.